everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Dead State. Um, let's see here, we wrecked the shit out of every looter in this map. We're in the downtown Splendid map right now, we're gonna be going through the police station to hopefully find a lot of good items, which I expect to. But there's an abandoned car over here which we need to check out for some gasoline because that's always pretty good stuff. Let's grab that, perfect. Alright. Now there's also a store over here, the Easy Laundry. I don't think um, there's much of value in here, but let me check it out before... Oh, it's it's locked, though. So we need to break it open or lockpick it. Is it, uh... It's locked from here, too. So we're just gonna break this door open. I don't think there's much of a danger anymore in the map, but I could be wrong. Expect Falcon to be wrong many times, but I, I think we're fine for now. The AP bar up top isn't showing me any more enemies as well, so... Because of that, I'm gonna assume we're fine. See if I can do some nice laundromat. Oh, we got some sneakers. Sweet. That actually works as a defense um, item. So I'll be equipping that really soon. We have some laundry detergent. This is going to be what? Morale? <laughs> promotes morale. I like how every in this game, if it doesn't do anything important, it just promotes morale. Towel? Promotes morale. Sh clothes? Promotes morale. Blanket? You know, say it with me. Promotes morale. All right. So we got everything right here. Perfect. Now we have... Little storage shelf over here. Sorry, I got freaked out there for a second. I thought there was gonna be like some sort of zombie. Just waiting in wait. Just ambushing me. Lockpick, parts, and a crowbar. Excellent. Alright. Now, before we go into the police station, let me go ahead and equip some of these um, items that we found here. I mean, number one, we have the goggles. A pair of goggles made to protect eyes from the irritants. And defense is zero. I have never found a reason to use the goggles before, but maybe there is now. We also have the paintball face plate already equipped, and let's see, we got the sneakers, right? This is going to be defense plus one, so again, I'm going to give this to old um, Walter White, only because I have him usually up front taking most of the damage anyway. So I, I'd rather have him properly equipped here. Let me drop this in here, and that's about it. Cool. Now, bye indeed. Renee, how's your med pack looking? 18 of 20? Oh, you're fine. You're definitely fine. In more than one way, baby. Um, let me do this really quickly. Let me unequip this and give you the shotgun. I think that works out pretty good. You have 9 AP if I'm right, so you could get 3 claw hammer attacks in. 6 to 15. 18 to 25. You know what? Let's switch you over to the wrench now. I feel that the claw hammer is a little bit too weak. And most of the time, you never really take two, more than 2 attacks on the claw hammer anyway, so this would be the same trade-off. Okay, so let's do that, and then... Let's have you reload this gun, and then set active as the wrench. Okay. Good. Let's go forward here. And you know what? Walter White, let's set the brush hook as active. I like that weapon. I like the bleeding effect on it as well. So here we go. Door indestructible. What do you mean indestructible? Since when? The door isn't taking any damage. What the fuck? You gotta be shitting. How does... What? what? <laughs> okay. That's weird. Okay, this one over here is destructible, though, thankfully. For a second, there, I was going to start flipping shit. I mean, I, I went in through this place under the front door last time, and I realized how dirty that kind of sounds if you make it sound dirty. But believe me, I went through the front door, not through the back door, baby. No, but um, on my first run through, I was able to crack the front door open, so it's kind of weird that it's not destructible now. I mean, I guess it is a police station, so they probably have some really sturdy doors, but... Oh shit, I just realized the noise meter is actually going pretty high up. If it hits red, then we're in trouble. Okay, it's all good? Everything's fine? Alrighty. Hooey, I just realized that. If that would have hit red, zombies would have flooded the map, and that is obviously no good for business, I don't have to tell you that. So let's pop this door open, and find out what's happening here. Double gun cabinet, we got a 9mm pistol, and shotgun shells, and some more 9mm ammo. Grab everything over here. Sweet. I think we got an upgrade for your gun there, um, Joel. What? Do, oh, you have the snub nose? Yeah, we'll give you the 9mm more than likely. Let's pop this door open. And let's see here. Bathroom stall, toilet paper. Always good. Pop this door open. Gun cabinet. Ooh, a police shotgun. Holy shit. Huh. We have to compare that to my other shotguns. But I have to imagine it's probably a bit stronger than what we have packing at the moment. Alright, we got some combat boots and some ballistic vests and some more um, bandages for our injuries. I like it. I'm telling you, man, the police station is definitely worth it. It's a little bit difficult getting here early on. 
Um, you just kind of have to play a little bit safer with the looters, but it's definitely possible to get in here. That's the reason why I do it now, because I know the payoff is really amazing. I don't want that rotten fruit, so you can keep that. Office desk, uh, we have a MP3 player. Now what this does, if I'm right, let me read this out here. Know that scene is know that scene in a movie where someone presses play on their personal music device to keep them to help them concentrate. The MP3 player works like that and relaxes those that might otherwise panic. So this is to reduce panic in the field. But again, it's not something that's happened before. But you know, it could be more of a bigger issue this time around. And it's the same thing, panic reduction as well. Alrighty, so grab that. I'm not sure what those um drugs were doing in the police station. Especially in an officer's desk, you know? Just throwing it out there. It's not like it was in a contraband um, room or anything like that. It was just literally in his desk. It was kind of like, hey, how you doing today, Murphy? Oh, you know, pretty good. You had a pretty long night, huh, Murphy? You look pretty strung out. Oh, you know, he's drinking with the boys. You know, popping pills in the back room. It's besides the point. Shovel and a makeshift pike. What a pike might be doing at a police station is really beyond me, especially in modern days, but okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. It's kind of weird, though. Office desk, got some flashback energy drink. We have vitamins and soda and more pack of batteries. Grab everything over here. We're up to 100 pounds already, so we're going to have to probably more than likely start unloading some items to Joel really soon. I'm just going to grab the magazine here. That's about it. Pop this door open, and that's it, huh? No more people, or no more places to loot. Well, either way, it was well, well worth it. We got a lot of good stuff here. Coding. Perfect. And we're done. Let's get on out of here. Now, before we get too far, let me go ahead and... Can I open this from this side? Not really, huh? I can't open it from the inside? Yep. Guess not. See, now that's understandable. Like, if you can't open a police door from the inside, but usually when it came to, like, houses, you know, you couldn't open them from the inside out. It's like a regular house. A police station, you know, it might be some sort of, like, series of locks and key cards required. Key cards. Man. <laughs> what if I've been playing Resident Evil recently or something? Alright, let me go into my inventory here really quickly, and... Let me go and give you the combat boots. I'm gonna give the sneakers to Renee, because I want to keep my... My medic also kind of... A little bit, um, defensively buffed, I guess I should say. Take a little bit more extra damage so she can heal us. Um, the Ballistic Vest is actually through defense. I will give this to you because you're going to be the one taking most of the damage anyway. So there you go. You're up to eight, and I want to give this to Renee. This is only one, huh? Now I'll keep this on you for now. And that's about it. Hunting shotgun. Oh, it was a police shotgun. Just use shotgun shells. Makes sense. Two hands, range 6, 45 to 65 damage, okay. Now in comparison, we're saying what, 45 and 65, and this is going to be what? 60 to 80, but the range is actually closer because it is sawed off, would make sense. And then this over here is 30 to 50, less range though. Wow. So you know what, the police one is a lot better. We might give that to Joel then. So let's do this really quickly. You, my lady friend are taking the sneakers and I want to keep you a little bit rangy so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you the snub nose and do I have any bullets for the snub nose? This is for the 38? Yeah, grab that right there we'll have the shotgun as a backup for you but let's give you some range with the snub nose as a matter of fact range is only 5 range is 6, okay so that's good and then Joel Let's give you the police shotgun. Range is 4, range is 5. And let's give you the 9mm pistol. Yeah, I guess that would make sense, right? Because he is the cop, he has the better shooting ability than mostly everybody that we have at the moment. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. And let's give you the proper ammunition for that, there you go. And that's about it. So now we go into our inventory screen here. Next character, let's put these sneakers on you. We'll give you this as opposed to the shotgun shells, and then we'll give you this over here as well. We'll hold this as a backup, and this as whatever. I'll probably get rid of this really soon. So that's fine, you're good to go. Then you, my friend, take the old police shotgun. Well, actually, I prefer to have the handgun and then swap to the shotgun if I need it. Yeah. So for now, hold on to that, but let's just give you this, and then we'll give you that right there. 
Guess you don't need to have that equipped that, but might as well have it together. Item two. Alrighty. That works out pretty good to me. Police shotgun. And then this will, we'll be getting rid of this soon back in base, and we're fine. Alrighty. So let's get out of here, and we're done. We are done in this map. There's nothing else for us to check out. So that was really good. We got a lot of good stuff out of it. Now, we didn't take any damage, so... I'm not opposed to going to the Bison Street area, so let's go and check that out now. Um, oh wait, no, that's a bad idea. I just realized it because, um... Walter White is actually kind of packed in terms of items right now. So we'd have to rely on both Joel and What's-Her-Face to do this for us, huh? Well, we'll try to pick up what we can, and then we'll probably come back for the other half later, if it comes down to it. Here's hoping there's a lot of good items, but not, like, too heavy, I suppose. That would be the, the downside to this run right now. Okay, so let's zoom out here. Let's get a few... Oh, shit, is this where I think it is? I think I know what this is, and... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. This map scares the shit out of me. I almost died here. In my beta run. Because of this house over here. Mind you, I know how to swap places now, which might make it easier, but... Okay. Terrifying nonetheless. So for now, let's uh, come over here. Let's not risk it in that house just yet, and I'll show you why soon, I, I assure you, but... For now, let's play it safe and kind of go over through this side. Ah, oh, fuck, I hate this map. I hope it goes a lot smoother this time. So we have a... This is going to basically be a looter's map, as you can imagine. There's a few zombies, if I remember correctly, but really not that many. It's mostly just a looter's paradise. And you know what I should be doing? Joel, let me give you all the extra shit that I do have. Let's see. Take all this, take all that. Don't need it. You hold on to it. And same well, coating, I guess I'll hold on to it for now. Take this, and... I guess I'll keep the snub nose just in case. I don't think I'll use it, but... Maybe that, and I have a shovel. Can you take the shovel as well? No, you can't carry that much anymore. That would make sense. What about these items? Nope. You're done, huh? Oh, let me remove this first and do it this way. No. Okay. That's it. <laughs> no is no, bitch. Alright, I got it, Joel. I got it, buddy. Don't don't worry, man. I got you. Just wanted to make sure. Open fridge? Alrighty. Before we check that open fridge, we need to make sure that there's no enemies in here, and I have a sneaking suspicion that there are. Hello. Ex-looter. So, that's a zombie. Alright, TV stand. Toilet paper. Romance novel. Vitamins and textbook. Let's grab all this here for now. So we see this guy over here, but let's not fool each other here. There might be zombies in these rooms, so we can't necessarily just rush in there. Balls to the wall. However, since we are dealing with zombies, we can use the aim for the head command, which is pretty good. It'll give us more. All right, let's just fucking try it. We have to at this point. If there's zombies in any other room, they're going to ambush us, but we need to get the drop on this guy instantly. So let's try it out here. Boom. And let me see my command. Aim for the head. Almost dead. I can't kill him with this turn, unfortunately, so let me just drop back over here and then... and turn. Joe should be enough for the kill, though. 100% chance to hit. Boom. Loot this dude, some parts, grab him, and that's about it, and turn. No more zombies in this house? Good. Alrighty, so first house out of the way, rather easily. Oh, <laughs> leather jacket. A grooming kid. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That scared me the hell out of me. Zombie, where'd you come from, man? Don't do that. I was over here trying to loot. This asshole. No respect for looting traits and the looting skills of people. <laughs> Looting's a fine art, my friend, and you're just ruining it right now. You're undamaged, so you're going to take a lot of damage before you actually go down, unfortunately. So let's get one hit in, and then just move over here. Now, Renee. Renee could probably go one, two, three, take a swing, and then move back a little bit. Unfortunately, my main dude that's supposed to be taking the damage all the way over here. He's the one who I want drawing the attack, so let's try this. Great miss, Renee. Thank you very much for that. Alright, so you should be able to get over here at least and draw his attention. And I won't be able to get a hit off, unfortunately. Oh, I will. I will. Because I could go over here and I could hit diagonally with the brush hook, so let's try it out. Nice. Come after me. Don't go after Joel. Perfect. 
As long as they come after me, it's fine because I have a lot of damage protection on me anyway, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue for us. And then... Swing and kill him. He's dead. Loot him for whatever the fuck that is. Oh, you can't carry that much anymore. 70's your limit. Gotcha. And turn, switch over to Walter White. What was this? Purification tablets. Alrighty. Promotes morale. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Oh, it promotes morale, you say. Oh, really? Leather jacket, candles, grooming kid, detective novel, sleeping pills, and medical kits. Perfect. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Come here, baby. I got a, I got a gift for you. This is how much I love you, Renee. At some point, you're gonna have to put out those. I'm just throwing it out there. Defense, I'll give you that. And that's about it, right? So let me go into Renee over here, and we'll do... Equip that shit, dog. Armor. There you go. So now she's gonna be a badass biker chick. Just wearing Daisy Dukes. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I like how the biker suit gives her, um... Pants as well. <laughs> what happened to your shorts? Okay. Does she wear shorts? I'm pretty sure she's been wearing shorts the whole time, right? Maybe I'm tripping out. Maybe there was no shorts. There was never any shorts, Falcon. It was all in your head. That's how much you idolize Renee as next door... The girl next door, essentially. That's what I see Renee as. The one you bring home to Mama. Got a bola. This is a thrown weapon. I never used this before. It looks kind of interesting. It just doesn't seem too effective against zombies, though. I don't want those insects. You could keep those, my looted house friend. And that's about it here. Good. Let's check out this fridge, and we're ready to go out of here. I'll grab the soda. And I'll grab this guy as well. You can keep the rotten fruit and that rat. Fuck the rats at this point. Okay. So. Still danger about. There has to be. But let's go take it nice and smoothly. We're going to go to the bison area first. The restaurant. And get a bit of extra food. And then we'll deal with that little clusterfuck that I mentioned earlier. Got to find a lot of good parts here. More gasoline. I'll grab that. Anything back over here need to be worried about? Not quite. Alright. Just going to move forward here. Come on, guys. Speed it up a little bit. So we're gonna move up to here and then we'll kind of oh, oh stop stop stop. Zombie man over here. Okay. So, how do we play this? Play this the way I usually play it. Just fucking ambushing zombies. So there you go. Get that ambush attack in. He is slightly wounded. We are still using the command for aiming at the head. I just want to make sure. A little bit of OCD in me. One hit kill. I love it. How many zombies are on the map? At least two more. At least. And the turn here. And let's check out what this guy had. Some soda on him. Good. Red car with gasoline. 1.5. I love it. Zombie over here. Smelling corpse, no less. Come on, zombie man. At least practice some decent hygiene over here, huh? Alrighty. Zombie... or... <laughs> I was about to call it the zombie car. Now, that'd be terrifying. Just literally a gang of zombies just rolls up on you in the middle of the street. Instead of gang banging, they just zombie bang. Which sounds like a really amazing X rated film that somebody should probably make at some point, but that's besides the point. Alrighty, so Bison series we're going to. Before we deal with Bison or the Bison restaurant, let me deal with the zombie that we saw over here. Just so he doesn't get, you know, sneaky on us and like ambush us at some point where we're in the middle of battle. Nothing over here behind us brick fence, it seems, so that's good. Alrighty, you motherfucker. Oh, is that another zombie over there, too? Yeah, two zombies. Okay, so let's get rid of zombie number one. Nice hit. Not enough for the kill, unfortunately, but he's almost dead. So now we just move you out of the way. And turn. And we should be able to finish this off with Joe, I would say. So, let's swap places number one. One, two... Nice. Nope, don't, don't move forward. Don't move forward. I just want to loot this body. Loot the fucking body. Parts? Nice. Alrighty. We have the zombie gross man. So we had, um, who was this? Smelling corpse and gross man. I wonder who smells worse. Alrighty. Our plan of attack is to get this guy from behind. That's always a plan of attack. <laughs> Which sounds like I'm some sort of, like, sexual predator. The plan of attack is from behind, baby. And there we go. Ambush him, and then we'll take our initial hit. <laughs> Boom, ski. And since we can't get another second attack, let's just move out of the way. And... 
and turn, have Joe finish this up for us, hopefully. Nice. That is it. And we have some bolts. I feel like I always acquire an absurd amount of cross bolts and arrows in um, Death State. I've never found a goddamn um, bow to use them with, so I hope that this time around it'll be different. There's a car over here, so we can check this. Oh shit, zombie there. Didn't notice you, my friend. Pepper spray. I'll talk about the pepper spray later, but it's actually a pretty decent item when you fight um, humans, as you can imagine. I don't think zombies really have much of an effect from pepper spray. Alright, so let's go over here and do our usual asshole ambush here. Nice. Almost dead. Let's just have you drop back then. And that's it. Joel, if you would so kindly finish this off for us, my friend. Boom. We have a really good combination going on over here with um Walter White and Joel, let me tell you. Nothing on this dude, however. Alright. So we have the supply stores over here. The action pool showed at least two more zombies, whether accurate... Oh, there's a zombie right here, as a matter of fact. Decomposing woman slightly wounded. Okay, so we should probably take care of her before we deal with these um, two locations here. Mind you, I don't think we'll be able to get a sneak attack in on her because she is up against the wall. And that is not a reference to Pink Floyd, I assure you. Okay. Go for it. Because she is slightly wounded, maybe this might be a one-hit kill. Let's see. No, it wasn't. That's unfortunate. Let's move you over here. And turn. Joe should be able to finish it off, though. Nice. One more zombie showing on the map. Decomposing woman. Oh, look at that. Ammunition for Joel. Alright. Now then, one more zombie is still showing... This house over here, we'll get to that house soon, believe me. <laughs> That's what worries me. Especially if uh, what's in there, if what I expect to be in there is in there, I'm really worried about it. But we're still showing one zombie on the map. That could be in the Bison Street, though, so, or the Bison... Why do I keep calling it the Bison Street? It could be in the restaurant itself. Kitchen knife, yeah, let's grab everything over here. And we might have to make a return trip because I think we're kind of filling up our stock here. Spices and a cleaver. Okay. And now we come back outside and check the motorbikes area out. Oh, shit. Well, I guess we found that other zombie, right? One hit. And drop back, if you may. And turn. And then Joel. Almost dead. One. Two. Nice. That's right, Joel. Can. You can't loot anymore because you're completely packed. So, Walter, shotgun shells and some spam, dude. Nothing wrong with spam. Spam is a delicacy in a lot of countries, man. I feel here in America we kind of, um, just forego spam in general, where it's kind of like, ah, spam, I don't want spam, dude. But, let me tell you, spam is considered a delicacy in a lot of countries, which is surprising to me, because again, I'm one of those people that are kind of like, spam, eh? Not too crazy about spam, man. But, you know, the more you know. Okay. So, <laughs> we need to check out Bison Street. All right, fuck, stop calling. Or you know what? Fuck it. From this point on, this restaurant is called Bison Street. Mmm, house of the buffalo, Bison Street. Now, the action pool showed no more zombies, meaning that's locked. That's locked, and that's open. The action pool showed no more zombies, meaning this area might be cleared, which might be kind of surprising to me to find it that way, but it just might be clear. And the only danger zone left is going to be, you know, in that house over there. Oh! Clear my ass. There is a lurvid- Oh, fuck! Why did I take so much time? <laughs> okay, you motherfucker. Jesus Christ, I took such a long time. I, I got surprised myself. And I was reading his name, and then he realized I was there and shot me twice in the fucking head. What a dickbag. Alright, Joe, you're the first one in line here. Unfortunately. One, two, that's gonna be three, four. You can get an attack off, but then you won't be able to move out of the way. Which is not good. I guess I could swap you out. And you're not really fixed to take damage like um, Walter White is here. Alrighty, so I think here's what we do. We are going to... Oh, fuck, I didn't even reload this pistol. Shit. 
Shit, shit, shit. Alrighty. Go over here. Fucking this guy's in the way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We need to get a hit off here. This guy's not going to die in one hit, obviously, so he's going to be doing a little bit of damage before we're done here. So let's see. I need you to swap places, please. Alright, there you go. Alright. Luckily, we did land that. But again, he's kind of fucked because now he's right there in the doorway, nowhere to go. And what I'm going to do with Renee is just um, heal old Walter White over here. So let's drop this heal on you, my friend. What do you mean you're not healing? Oh, you have to literally be next to him? There you go, up to 90. It's not great, but it's something. That's about it, that's all I can do with her. Actually, I could take a shot with her if I wanted to, but I'd have to make the pistol a, an active item. Which I can, okay. But I don't have a sh line, of sh uh, line of sight on him, so we have to move out of the way here for now. End our turn. Now, with old Walter White, we definitely have to get Joe out of the way. I hope that if I could just land the brush hook attack, it'll be enough for the kill. We'll see. Swap out, and then... Please land this. Okay. Badly wounded, but not enough for the kill. That's unfortunate. Bleeding. That didn't kill him, but he moved out of the way. And shot me in the fucking face again. This guy is fucking getting a little bit too friendly with that pistol now, isn't he? Are you trying to alert the entire zombie population of our location, bro? Come on. Play it smart here, my friend. Alright, Joel... Joe, you're behind, so you need a swap. One, two. Please land us. Oh, come on. I hope that the bleeding damage will kill him next turn. That's all I can really hope for at this point. And as far as you go, just stay back there for now. And then you, one, two, swap. And land a hit and for the kill. Nice, alrighty. Crisis averted for the most part. It still showed that there was another um, looter in the area. So let's keep that in mind. Right, it's not showing a looter anymore. Interesting. Alrighty, so let's, this guy was dead. Or he was dead. He's dead now. We'll grab everything that is on him and we're at 100 um, weight now. So I think what we're going to do is actually just loot this place and get the hell out of here. And then come back to check out that house that I was worried about. I think that's probably the best course of action here. So let's check out the food cabinet, grab whatever we still can, and then just get the hell out of here. Grab this good. We might have to switch over to Renee because I feel that everybody is kind of packed to the brim with items, so she is the one that has a bit more room right now. Prep counter. Anything else that we could kind of loot? We have to go inside of this little room to make this other looting happen. So we'll grab this, and what is this over here? More spices, alright. Nothing like spicing life with using a little spices, right? That's really corny and cheesy, I apologize, but that's all I had at the moment about spices. And over here we have some toilet paper, which is, you know, obviously really important. Falcon's number one thing to survive. Post-apocalypse have a lot of toilet paper. Here's the thing about toilet paper. If you have to go out scavenging every single day to find items, that's going to be irritating, right? Can you imagine how irritating it would be if you didn't have toilet paper to properly wipe? I'm talking hemorrhoids, man, and like, you know uncertainties back there when you're wandering around? It'd be kind of terrifying. I mean, you know, it's a hassle walking around all that much to find food to survive, but then, you know, you're chafing back there? Really bad. So, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. You kind of need some toilet paper. Let's go back to the shelter now. Alrighty. So, I'm going to call it an episode here, I think. We will... Oh, do a little stretching here. Call it an episode here, and I will... I guess I'll get us ready for the return. If there's anything crazy that goes on, I will show it, but otherwise we'll probably just cut back into... back to the mm, Bison Street and deal with that little house that I talked about. But before we do that, let's see, we have Undersizable Food 2, 6 special items, 25 food, 4.5 fuel, a lot of luxury items, and 16 parts, and the following data items were required are required too, which is pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.